Hey guys, it's Ben from EFI University and I wanted to share with you some cool little project stuff we've been working on today. A lot of people ask me about camshaft and valve train stuff specifically and when they come and see the type of stuff we work on they're really curious about this setup here which is what we call a clamshell camshaft bearing. Now normally when you have your camshaft the journals on the camshaft ride in Babbitt bearings like this. So this is just a bearing shell that gets pressed into the block. If you come over and look at our block here we have our cam tunnel. You have cam bearings that get pressed in there and that's held tight by the block. And then of course it's got some oil that comes through. And now your camshaft journal needs to be set correctly to the size that would obviously give you the clearance you need. The thing about that is though, one of the things we're always trying to do to get more stiffness is increase the overall barrel diameter, not the lobe, but the shaft diameter in the middle here to give us more stiffness and strength. The way that we get lift is by the difference between the base circle on our camshaft, which is obviously here above the barrel to the nose. The thing is the nose height is pretty much always going to be the same. You're going to keep the nose typically around 10 or 15 thousandths below the height of the bearing. Otherwise, when I go to put the shaft in the engine, if the lobes are taller than the journals, they're obviously not gonna be able to clear that bearing. So one of the things that we can do to give us just a little bit more room there is get rid of the bearing. So we take this bearing out of the block and do not run a fixed cam bearing in the block anymore. Instead, what we do is we go to Jessel and they make a two-piece bearing that we call a clamshell. Now, there's a couple different styles of clamshells, but this is a common one. This is just an aluminum aluminum two-piece bearing and what happens is in the middle we use a little rod bearing that comes out of like a Honda lawnmower weed whacker whatever let me see if I can get that guy out there well it's in there pretty good but you can kind of see this is just a normal connecting rod bearing that would be from a Molly Clevites catalog so what happens is the two half clamshells get bolted together around the camshaft like this and then we got bolts that go in and hold them in place and we screw them down and you can see they go along the camshaft there so now my cam camshaft and bearings instead of being separate are kind of one piece. We take the whole thing, we slide that in the engine, bearings and all at the same time. The only problem that's left is we got to have a way to locate these bearings in the block and on the camshaft. We also need to be able to feed them oil. Remember, typically it comes through the block, comes through the bearing. We don't have that option now. So instead what we do is we machine the engine block down through the valley and we take little standoff pipes like this. So here's an example of three camshaft bearings that are being oiled from the top. They would go in the block. These would go obviously in the cam tunnel. My little standoff pipes go in these holes that we've made down into the bearing journals and they would sit roughly like that in the block. We would feed oil here to pressurize and locate those clamshell bearings. So next time you're looking for a really high performance option, you need just a little more lift at that lobe or you need a little more stiffness in the barrel, you might consider doing a clamshell cam bearing.